And welcome everyone to the City Ball Diamond here. We've got Jayhawk Conference Softball today for the Larks as they're hosting Fort Scott. And this is a very dangerous Fort Scott team. Defensively for the Larks, Lexi's out in left, Anissa in center, and Cassidy will be in right. Kaylin Lastly will be moving over third base today. Jesse Miranda and Paige Biddle up the middle at short and second, respectively. Boo gets the on to first. Sadie Leatherman behind the dish, and Chelsea Smith is on the hill. Chelsea's numbers coming into today, she's 8-4, and four, has appeared in 18 games, started 13 of those with two saves, five complete games, 71 innings pitched. She's allowed 63 hits, 52 runs, 34 of which were earned, 38 walks and 101 strikeouts for Chelsea with an earned run average of 3.35. Offensively for the Greyhounds, Sierra Sanderson to lead things off, followed by Kennedy Meyer and Lane Bolkin. Abby Cox bats cleanup and Jordan Condington batting fifth with Delaney Freeze, the DP, in the sixth spot. Adriana Pedro batting seventh with the playing second base. Mackenzie Sample bats eighth, and Josie Bartlett will round the order over. And here we go with the ever dangerous, dangerous Sierra Sanderson. Sanderson is 16 for 65 on the season. 246 batting average. As a team, the Greyhounds on the year, they're hitting at 300. And Chelsea Smith to start us off. Hey, fans of the fan of the Hounds, a fan of the Larks, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a text 620 217 1465. And the first pitch from Chelsea is a strike to Sanderson. Chelsea gets her sign, and she will deal. And Sanderson swings through, and she's quickly behind 0-2. And, We're in the top of the first. Larks and the Hounds set to do two, set to battle for two. Sanderson chases upstairs, and she is retired. One out here for the Larks. And Chelsea's first strikeout on the day. Kenny Meyer, the center fielder, and it will step in. Meyer on the season, sit 19 for 73, two, with two runs driven in, a 260 batting average, and she's looking for her first extra base hit of the season. Bunt laid down, or tried to attempt, and Meyer misses with the bunt. Larks will be in action tomorrow as well. As they host Pratt in a non-conference matchup, then they're rolling up to Southeast Community College in Beatrice, Nebraska. That one stays a little bit high on our count even, one ball and one strike. Larks will also be, they'll play two at Southeast and they'll be uh, eating at Valentino's and then on the way home. Swing strike for Meyer, and she's quickly behind one ball and two strikes. And the one two coming up. That one a little low, and our count even at two balls and two strikes. Lane Bolkin awaits, and Bolkin is putting up some numbers here for the Hounds. Beautiful day for softball. Temperatures in the mid 60s. No wind. We don't say that very often. Swing and a miss. Meyer chases high cheese, and she's quickly behind. And she's quickly sent back to the dugout. That brings up Lane Bolkin, and Bolkin is having herself a season. 36 for 80 on the year. 10 doubles, one home run, 24 runs driven in, but a 450 batting average. And Bolkin looks at a pitch outside from Chelsea. One ball. The 1 0 from Chelsea. Chelsea swings through. Excuse me. Bolkin swings through in the count now. One ball, one strike. Again, numbers on screen. If you want to text us, shout-outs from the Hounds, shout-out from the Larks. Tell us who you are, who you're watching, where you're watching from. 
That one drifting outside on our count now, two balls and one strike. The goal is to have the scoreboard controller back. That's what the holdup is for the scoreboard in center field. Quick little chant talk between Sadie and Chels. With two away here in the top of the first. That one stays downstairs and Bolkin way ahead. Bolkin has only drawn three walks on the season. Bolkin tips it in the glove and we're full. Three balls and two strikes. Big time payoff pitch here from the freshman. That's popped straight up right at us, but it won't quite get there. Off of the fence. And Bulkin stays alive. Shea Hoover's here at the table with me today. She was going to make a play on that ball. She nodded. Shea's shy. That's a little flare, and that will drop foul over Kalen Lastly. So a long at bat here for Bulkin. Count still riding as we are full. And Bulkin with her best batter's box disco dancing. She's staying alive. Chelsea deals in the dirt, and Bulkin draws. Only her fourth walk of the season. That will bring up Abby Cox. Cox is also having a great year. 34 for 81, 11 doubles, one triple, four home runs, 24 runs driven in, and a 420 batting average. So Cox steps in with a runner on. And she swings through the first pitch she sees from Chelsea Smith. Cox chases upstairs, and she's quickly behind 0-2. So two away and a runner on board here in the top of the first for the Hounds from Fort Scott. That one's popped back and out of play. And Bulkin stays alive. So, Cox still behind 0-2. And Chelsea misses outside. And they count 1-2. and two. That one fouled back to the fence. Another foul ball. So Cox with a long battle here. That one misses. The runner taking off and swiping second base. And our count even at two balls and two strikes. Bulkin will get credit with a stolen base. She was off to the races as the pitch was going. Fly ball, and that ball is over the fence and out of here. Ivy Cox hits her fifth home run of the season, knocks in two, and Fort Scott quickly on the board as they'll tack up two on the home run. And so now the Larks will have to go back to work. defensively. So Cox hits her fifth of the season 
And that brings up catcher Jordan Connington. Connington, 17 for 58 with a 293 batting average. And Coddington takes a strike right away from Chelsea Smith. 2 nothing here. And Coddington swinging right through Chelsea Smith. That one too far in, and our count one and two. Again, you guys want to text us, feel free. That one rises high in our count now, two balls and two strikes. Strike three, and Connington goes down, but the damage done as Abby Cox goes deep, and we'll go to the bottom of the first with Larks with work to do. Offensively, Jesse Miranda start this off for the Larks. Kaelin Lastly will bat second. Batting third is Lexi Avalos. Sadie Leatherman moves to the cleanup spot with Amy Bertato, the designated player, batting fifth. Paige Biddle plays second. She'll bat sixth this afternoon for the Larks. Boo is batting seventh. Chelsea Smith batting eighth. And Anissa Aguilar will round the order over from the nine hole. As we are here in the bottom of the first. Defensively, Sanderson in left. Meyer in center. Bartlett in right for the Greyhounds. Sample at third. Bulkin at short. Pet Pedro over there at second. Cox at first. And Connington behind the dish. Katie Bunch on the hill here for the Greyhounds. And Bunch on the season. She is 2 and 5, 33 innings, 33 and 2 thirds innings pitched. Five of those games have been complete games 53 hits, 33 runs, 23 earned runs, 10 walks, 23 strikeouts, and a 4.78 earned run average for the pitcher from Fort Scott. Larks play non conference tomorrow against. Pratt and off John up to Beatrice, Nebraska on Monday for a non-conference game against Southeast. So a beautiful day for softball, folks. I mean, it is unbelievably nice. We've had some real unpleasant days. So Jesse, Kayla, and Lexi all do up this inning. Larks trailing two to nothing. Leading off for the Larks, number 21, Jesse Miranda. And that one missing outside from Bunch to Miranda. So, the swing and a miss for Jesse. Jesse comes into the season, the game second leading hitter on the Larks team, 423 batting average. They count one ball and one strike here. And. Jesse fouls it back to the fence in our count. One ball and two strikes. Jesse on the ground of the third baseman. Sample has it deflect, and Jesse comes up with it. She'll be at first base and the leadoff runner aboard for the Larks. So Kalen coming to bat with a runner aboard, top of the bottom of the first, rather. K 
Kaylin batting from the left side today. Kaylin, 25 for 76, 329 batting average. So. Jesse off to the races, swiping second base easily. Two and our count now to Kalen. And Kalen switches back to the right side of the plate. So Jesse moves over to second. Kalen swinging through. And Kalen now two balls and one strike. Kalen looks at a strike, and we are even up two balls and two strikes with Jesse over there at second base. Larks as a team, they're hitting 319 on the season. Kalen fouls it back and out of play, and our count will still be two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 delivery from Bunch, missing downstairs. We move full three balls and two strikes. Payoff pitch on the way for Bunch. That one's upstairs, and Kalen draws a walk. And the Larks now with two on and none out for Lexi Avalos. And Lex, the third leading hitter on the Larks team, 31 hits and 79 at-bats, 7 doubles, 3 triples, 2 bombs, and 22 runs driven in for Lex. A 392 batting average. And an on-base percentage of 448. And Lex pulls back. Looks like she wanted to offer. Pulls it back in one ball. So this is Delaney Freeze pitching. My fault on that. And they pitch a swing in strike for Lex. Freeze was listed, as, or Bunch was listed as the one in the flex, but Freeze in the DP, she'll get the nod. Here, here, so numbers on Freeze. She's 5-6 and six on the season with a 2.04 ERA. 49 hits, 32 runs, 16 of which were earned, and that is outside to Lex. And our count two balls and one strike now. Freeze deals. And that misses downstairs, low and away. Lex has a count move, three balls and one strike. Two. Thanks, Shay. Appreciate you for the kind text. Lex fouls it back. And our count's still right in at two balls and two strikes. Glad you guys are along for the game here on the Lark Network. Freeze deals again. And Lexi's swinging through, and she is retired one away. Sadie Leatherman stepping up. Up next, number 15, 
Leatherman. Sadie Leatherman, 17 for, six, 17 for 62 on the season. Four home runs, nine runs driven, and a 274 batting average. Sadie will show bunt. And pulls back. Head coach Andy Sharp saying, hey, we got the signs wrong. And Sadie was lucky as she pulled it back. Fort Scott Sopple heading in the right direction. Only 12 on the team, but solid up and down. Sadie on the ground at Bolkin. Bolkin thinking double play, but she bobbles it. Sadie just gets thrown out. A good play by Bolkin over there. Knocked it down. Had to go. The only play she could was to first. And there are two outs now for Amy Brettato. And Amy Brittato, 29 for 61. Two doubles, six home runs, and 25 runs driven. And she's hitting 475. Amy will use all of the field. And Amy takes a pitch high from Freeze. That one, Missy downstairs from Freeze and Brutato quickly ahead, two balls and no strikes. And Freeze will have to be careful with Brutato. And that is dumped into left field, base hit for Amy. Two runs are coming in, Kalen on the way, and Amy ties the game with a base hit. And it's all knotted up at two here as Amy didn't do too much, just knocked it into left field, and we're all tied up for Paige Biddle. Number 28, Paige Biddle. So Paige coming to bat. She's at the second base today. We're all tied up at two runs apiece. And Paige looks at one upstairs. Paige also hitting 274, 17 for 62, just like Sadie Leatherman. Paige pops it and it hits the light pole, comes back into play. And I'm not sure Paige could do that again. Hit the light pole perfectly. This will be the last year here for Lark Softball at the City Ball Diamond. They'll move on to campus next season. I cannot wait. Paige looks at one that drifts down low and in. And our count two balls and one strike to the freshman. Got a text saying, Amy, do something crazy from your family in Whittier, California. And Amy gets it. Did. And Paige looks at a strike, and we're even two balls and two strikes. Apologize if I don't get to all the text right away. I'm trying to run a scorebook, scoreboard on screen, and do text and talk at the same time. Paige way in front, and she fouls it over the building as a mad scramble for the foul ball between Reese Nebel and Grant Harding as in college basketball players. And I'm not sure who won. Reese won. Paige, a little flare out there to left field. And that will drop in for a base knock. And Paige has a single. And two aboard here with two away for Boo. So Adriana took a little bit of a dip after the games against Tabor. She's 14 for 40, a 350 batting average. That one stays low as Freeze misses downstairs. So two on, two outs here for the Larks, bottom of the first. We're all tied up at two runs apiece. And Boo will look at a strike. And they count even up at two ball, one ball, one strike. Beautiful sunny day here. Finally a sunny day. I'm not, I haven't seen the sun in forever. Shay can attest to that. She nods. She's shy. We said that earlier. 
and hits Boo on the elbow. Boo wears it, and she is aboard. And the bases are loaded for Chelsea Smith. Last time Chelsea Smith came up with a bases loaded against Tabor. She hit a home run. A grand slam, so maybe Chelsea thinking that she can do that again. Chelsea walks up to the song Glory by the Score. Because we were talking about that the other day. Malia, Malia and I were talking about that when Malia was over here at the table. Number 29, Chelsea Smith. So two away here for the Greyhounds, but the sacks are full. The metal occupied, as we like to say. The nest is full. And Chelsea, first pitch swinging, knocks it back and out of play into the tree. Fans actually making their way over here to the City Ball. I mean, it rests about two blocks north of campus. But next year, the field will be on campus. Chelsea takes a strike inside. That one too far outside, and our count, one ball and two strikes. The one ball and two strike pitch. And Chelsea swings right through it, free striking out Chelsea in a battle of pitchers. But the Larks get two. We've played an inning. We're all tied up at two. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. Adriana Ruiz from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amy Bertado from Whittier, California. Anissa Aguilar, Hostand Heights, California. Cassidy King from Cochranville, Pennsylvania. Chelsea Smith, Tacoma, Washington. Jenna Garcia, Hutchinson, Kansas. Jenna Schneider from Lodi, California. Jesse Miranda from Turlock, California. Kaylin Lastly from Salina, Kansas. My name is Alexis Avalos and I'm from Yucaipa, California. Madison O'Brien, Zunai, Virginia. Malia Sandy from Gerard, Kansas. Paige Biddle from Sacramento, California. Reese McCrary from Sacramento, California. My name is Sadie Leatherman and I'm from Coutts, Indiana. Shay Hoover, Potland, Kansas. So. And welcome back here to the City Ball Diamond. We're into the top of the second. All's tied up at two runs apiece. This will be the pitcher, De Delaney Freeze. She's DPing, but also pitching. That's always a little bit confusing when you hear that. So Freeze on the season. Third leading hitter for the Hounds, 18 for 52. A 346 batting average. And she takes a strike from Chelsea. So... So, the 0-1 delivery coming up, and that one too high, and I count one ball, one strike. Looks like women's soccer coach Brian Kerr has the grill going. And our 1-1, drifting low and away, and the count two balls and one strike here to freeze. The 2-1 delivery, and Freeze fouls it back to the fence, and we're even up. Two balls, two strikes. Top of the second, all knotted up at two runs apiece. 
Fort Scott using the long ball in their half of the first. The Larks manufacturing as that's fouled into the fence. Freeze hammers that foul. Our count will stay. We'll two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2 delivery from Chelsea. Strike three. Freeze goes down. So Chelsea Smith pays back Delaney Freeze with a strikeout as Freeze caught looking. And that's Chelsea's fourth strikeout. So, so Adriana Pedro coming up. So Adriana Pedro coming, Pedro coming up. And she swings through the first pitch she saw from the rise ball. That one missing outside on our count even at one ball, one strike. One out here on the top of the first. Pedro swinging through, and our count one ball and two strikes. There's a fly ball right side. That will drop in for a base in front of Cassidy King. And a base knock for Pedro. And Pedro aboard. One out here for McKenzie Sample. Sample, 22 for 78, she scored 15 times, three doubles, one triple, 11 runs batted in, a 282 batting average. And Sample chases, first pitch she sees from Chelsea Smith. That gets away from Sadie. And Pedro. Pedro Matt getting to second base. Count evens up at two and two on the swinging strike. Or one and two, rather, excuse me. Strike three in her half. Sample caught looking. That's Chelsea's fifth strikeout. And that'll bring up Josie Bartlett. Bartlett coming up. And Bartle chasing through the first pitch she sees. Chelsea has worked ahead quite often. A lot of first pitch strikes here from the freshman. And Bartlett digs back in. That one drifts outside. And our count two balls, or excuse me, one ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one coming up now. When getting away from Sadie again. Check that. So the count one and two. 
as Pedro taking the base on the pass ball. Pedro pops it up. Boo on her way, but that'll be out of play. So the count still one ball and two strikes for Bartlett. You're good, Shay. And the one two coming up one more time. Strike three called. Bartlett goes down, and that's six strikeouts through two innings for Chelsea. We played an inning and a half. All tied up at two. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. Robbie Rod, Houston, Texas. Brett Heitschmidt, Lindsborg, Kansas. Caden Bartlett, Amber, Oklahoma. Caleb Stoll, Litchfield Park, Arizona. Tottenham Ferguson, Nassau, Bahamas. Connor Leach, Erie, Colorado. Don Woody, Cibola, Texas. Dave Milburn from Lincoln, Nebraska. David Burzens, Houston, Texas. Dave Ryan, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dayton Watkins, Valley Center, Kansas. Grant Bloyer, Winfield, Kansas. Hudson Smith, Wacomas, Oklahoma. Hugo Kinabuchi, San Diego, California. Ian Lecky, of Oven Park, Kansas. Justin Darnell, I'm from Windsor, Colorado. Kaylin Haynes, Trophy Club, Texas. Kendall Theory, Westlake, Louisiana. Malachi Swartz, Overland Park, Kansas. Nari Kijimura, Tokyo, Japan. Natty Solomon, Harrisonburg, Virginia. And Nis stepping in, her first pitch fouled off. Nis on the season, 12 for 50, a 240 batting average. As Freeze deals. Nis lays a bunt down. Freeze fields it, tossing over, and not in time. Nis with an infield bunt. Nis showing off her wheels. She'll get a single. A little bit of confusion there between Cox, Pedro, and Freeze. And that brings up Jesse Miranda. Just single or reached on an error, excuse me. Stole a base and scored a run. So Jesse will dig in. Jesse looks at one. And I count one ball. Jesse, the lefty. Takes a pitch. Niss off to the race is trying to steal and does. Niss swiping second base. Jesse took the strike. And that's Niss's ninth stolen base on the season. She's second on the team behind Jesse Miranda, but Jesse has 18 stolen bases. Our count moves to even, and Niss moves to second. Jesse pops it up to the fence. And she's quickly behind one ball and two strikes. The one two coming up. That one too far outside, and our count now two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. 
Jesse chasing, and Jesse strikes out. So one away for Kalen Lastly. Kalen drew a walk and scored a run. One away here, bottom of the second. All's tied up at two. And Kalen takes a strike, a good pitch from Freeze in the lower corner of the zone. The 0 1 coming up. High and tight to Kalen, and we're even at a ball and a strike. That's up the middle, base knock for Kalen. Kalen finds grass. Niss coming around, and Niss scoring, and the Larks now lead. Three to two. As Kalen with an RBI single. Brings up number five, Lexi Avalos. And Lex coming to bat. Larks in front, three to two. With one away for Lex. Lex, first pitch swinging, fouls it off into the fence. So here comes the 0 1 from Freeze. And Lexi looks at a change of pace pitch for a strike. So 0 2 to Lex. Too far outside. And our count one ball and two strikes. A lot of college shoots making their way over here on a gorgeous day for softball. And the 1 2 delivery. Lexi waves at it, and she has retired the fourth strikeout of the day for Miss Freeze. Freeze now up to 70 strikeouts on the season. And Sadie grounded out to shorten her first at bat. So two away with Kaylin aboard. Larks in front, three to two. Sadie swings through the first pitch she sees. Freeze did a good job of taking something off. So Freeze likes to change speeds. Got a text saying, let's go Sadie from your Couts family. Sounds like Indiana in the house. BL1, Sadie chases, and she's quickly behind 0-2. And the 0-2. Too far outside. Good pitcher's pitch, though. I love pitching like that when you're trying to force the hitter to nibble. Not a bad spot down and away. And I smell the grill. The grill smells good. And the one, too. Sadie lays off the slower rise ball. And they count now two balls and two strikes. So 2-2, two, two. and Sadie chasing five strikeouts now for the Greyhounds. At the end of two, Larks three, Greyhounds two. We'll be back after this. Adriana Ruiz from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amy Bertado from Whittier, California. Anissa Aguilar, Hacienda Heights, California. 
Cassidy King from Cochranville, Pennsylvania. Chelsea Smith, Tacoma, Washington. Jenna Garcia, Hutchison, Kansas. Jenna Schneider from Lodi, California. Jesse Miranda from Turlock, California. Kaylin Lastly from Salina, Kansas. My name is Alexis Avalos and I'm from Yucaipa, California. Madison O'Brien, Zunai, Virginia. Malia Sandy from Gerard, Kansas. Paige Biddle from Sacramento, California. Reese McCrary from Sacramento, California. My name is Sadie Leatherman and I'm from Coutts, Indiana. Shay Hoover, Potwin, Kansas. And welcome back here to the City of All Diamond. Top of the order here for the Greyhounds. Sierra Sanderson coming up. She struck out her first at bat. We're in the top of the third, and Sanderson swings through the first pitch she saw. And the 0 1 coming up. Sanderson lays the bunt down, but pops it, tries to lay the bunt down, pops it back into the fence. I'm going to count 0-2. Hurry up, Charles! The 0-2 delivery. Strike three called outer corner. Sanderson retired for the second time today by strikeouts. And there's one up. One out for Kennedy Meyer. Meyer struck out. Seven strikeouts now for Chelsea. As Meyer stepping in. Meyer swings through. First pitch she saw. So far, one hit, one walk, and seven strikeouts. Two hits, excuse me. There was a single in the second. Two hits, one walk. One of those hits a two-run home run by the Greyhounds. That's on the ground foul. And they count 0-2 as Shay's got the sneezes going on. And they count 0-2. Meyer pulls back. And Chelsea misses high and away. I'll give Fort Scott some credit. They have one of the nicest baseball fields at the Juco level. That one missing downstairs. And they count two balls and two strikes. Strike three outside corner. Eight strikeouts now for Chelsea. All the outs so far for the Larks have been via strikeout. And now bring up Lane Bulk. And Bulk and drew a walk. Had a very long at bat her first go round. She also stole a base. And that one popped back and out of play towards our partnership with Heston Machine and Welding. Major thanks to Major thanks to the 
folks over there. They allow us to use their internet to stream these games here at the City Ball Diamond. That one popped right back in the fence. And our count 0-2. Apparently these balls have been kind of directed towards Shea. Normally they're not so much at the table, but Shea being over here today, these balls are flying at Shea. And so our count, 0-2. Vulcan. And time call. Just took a little bit too long. Vulcan wants to reset. A little bit of gamesmanship. I've always enjoyed that. Chelsea misses high. And I count one ball and two strikes. And the one and two. That one popped back into the fence again. And our count's still riding one ball and two strikes. Vulcan striking out as Chelsea took something off. Nine strikeouts now. We've played two and a half, and the Lark's leading three to two. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. Rodney Rod, Houston, Texas. Brett Heitschmidt, Lindsborg, Kansas. Caden Bartlett, Amber, Oklahoma. Caleb Stoll, Litchfield Park, Arizona. Cotton Ferguson, Nassau, Bahamas. Connor Leach, Erie, Colorado. Don Woody, Cibola, Texas. Dave Milburn from Lincoln, Nebraska. David Burzens, Houston, Texas. Dave Ryan, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dayton Watkins, Valley Center, Kansas. Grant Bloyer, Winfield, Kansas. Hudson Smith, Wacomas, Oklahoma. Hugo Kinabuchi, San Diego, California. Ian Lecky, Oakland Park, Kansas. Justin Darnell, I'm from Windsor, Colorado. Kaylin Haynes, Trophy Club, Texas. And welcome back to the City Ball Diamond. Amy Brittado coming to bat. Amy had a two-run single in the first. And so Freeze will go to work. Amy, first pitch swing, he pops it out of play. Grant Harding off to the races again to retrieve the foul ball. And the 0 1. Amy chases. And the count now one ball and two strikes. Amy Page and Boot all do up. This inning for the Larks. Amy lays off. Amy has very good command of the strike zone. And our count one ball and two strikes. Strike three outer corner and Amy goes down. Now bring up Paige Biddle, one away. Paige singled. As Lark's in front, three to two, with one away, bottom of third. Three two. And Page takes a strike. With one away here in the bottom of the third. Paige, a line drive. That'll be into the gap. And Paige thinking two, but she'll stay at one. She hammered that on the left field. A gap and Paige two for two. Number 30, Adriana Ruiz. I get a boomerang back. 
so we will step in. All right. Got a text here. And Boo takes a pitch upstairs. Looks like Kenny Meyer's grandmother tuning in, watching her first streaming. Glad you're along for the ride. One away with Paige aboard, and Boo takes a strike. Boo knew it was a strike. I count one ball, one strike. Boo was hit by a pitch in her first at bat. Boo pops it up and out of play. Reese Nebel beating Grant Harding in a sprint for this. Appreciate the. But Reese was denied by the Fort Scott player. Outside corner, Boo goes down and. Free is also dealing here. That is eight strikeouts, seven strikeouts. Math is hard. Seven strikeouts here for Delaney Freeze, and Chelsea Smith comes up. Chelsea struck out in her last at bat. So we've got pitcher versus pitcher. And Chelsea takes one outside, one ball. Chelsea looks at one that drifts too far outside from Delaney Freeze. After some early struggles, Freeze really settled down and has worked ahead on Lark hitters, especially in that second inning. Chelsea fouls it back and out of play, and our count now moves to two balls and one strike. One delivery from Freeze. Chelsea pops it up into the stands. Who's going to make the play? Grant Harding does not. So Grant Harding might want to stick to basketball and not baseball or softball. As they count now, two balls and two strikes. I get to say that I had got to enjoy Grant for two years on the Hessen College Hardwoods. Chelsea swinging through and. That is a strikeout for Freeze. We've played three. Lark's lead, three to two. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. Robbie Rod, Houston, Texas. Brett Heitschmidt, Lindsborg, Kansas. Caden Bartlett, Amber, Oklahoma. Caleb Stoll, Litchfield Park, Arizona. Cardon Ferguson, Nassau, Bahamas. Connor Leach, Erie, Colorado. Don Woody, Cibolo, Texas. Dave Milburn from Lincoln, Nebraska. David Burzens, Houston, Texas. Dave Ryan, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dayton Watkins, Valley Center, Kansas. Grant Bloyer, Winfield, Kansas. Hudson Smith, Wacomas, Oklahoma. Hugo Kinabuchi, San Diego, California. Ian Lecky, Oval Park, Kansas. Justin Darnell, I'm from Windsor, Colorado. Kaylin Haynes, Trophy Club, Texas. Kendall Theory, Westlake, Louisiana. Malachi Swartz, Overland Park, Kansas. Nike Jimura, Tokyo, Japan. Nadia Solomon, Harrisonburg, Virginia. Nick Platten from Adelaide, Australia. Noah Roberts, Wichita, Kansas. Omar Aguilar, Panama City, Panama. And welcome back to the City Ball Diamond. We're in the top of the fourth. Larks leading 3 2. Let me correct that on screen. 
top four here for Abby Cox. Cox hit a home run, her last at bat. And she chases. As Chelsea Smith just absolutely dealing right now. Fly ball right side. That, if it drops, it's going to be trouble, but it will drift foul. And Cox proving that she can go any which way she chooses. Our count, 0 and 2. Cox is a sophomore. Came in, hit, came in hitting 420. That number will go up, and she'll add a home run and two ribbies to her total. Too far outside, and our count, one ball and two strikes. Cox fouls it back, and our count still remaining one ball and two strikes. The one two coming up. Oh, and missing outside. A little bit low, two balls and two strikes. Cox has the count move full as she's very patient. And the payoff pitch coming up. Cox, little flare. Boo calling for it and making the play. And that is the first out of the game for the Greyhounds, which was not a strikeout. And there's one away. Jordan Coddington, the catcher, was caught looking her first at bat. And Coddington takes a strike on the first pitch she sees. So that broke a streak of nine straight strikeouts for Chelsea. Owen oh, fouled back to the fence, and Coddington quickly behind 0-2. And, and did not get to check on where Chelsea ranked NJCA-wise in strikeouts. She was eighth earlier this season. That's fouled off and out of play on the right side. And our count still remaining with one ball or no balls and two strikes. The 0-2 coming up. A little bit of the changeup missing high, and our count now one ball and two strikes. That one stays a little low, and our count now two balls and two strikes. Chelsea struggling just a little bit. She's worked a little bit in this, these last two batters. That one pops straight up. Boo calling for it. And makes the play a second straight pop out. And Boo comes up a little bit gimby. She's been nursing an ankle. That brings up the designated player, Delaney Freeze. Freeze struck out her first at bat. She was caught looking. So two away here, top of the fourth. And that one's popped over the fence and foul. In our old days with the press box, that might have made it into the press box. Now we have a press table. The 0-1 coming up. And Chelsea misses a little bit low. Yeah. 
and our 1-1 coming up. That one stays down and in. Two balls, one strike now to Delaney Freeze. Got a couple texts I have to go through here. Okay, so Chelsea came, or Chelsea came into the game. Swing and a miss. And our count, one ball and two strikes. Chelsea came into the game with 101 strikeouts. She's put up nine now, and she might be well in the lead. Sounds like she might be leading NJCA with strikeouts. That one, a little flare. Kalen makes a plain foul territory, so three pop-outs here for the Greyhounds. They go quickly and quietly, one, two, three. And we'll be back with the bottom of the fourth right after this. Adriana Ruiz from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amy Portado from Whittier, California. Anissa Aguilar, Hacienda Heights, California. Cassidy King from Cochranville, Pennsylvania. Chelsea Smith, Tacoma, Washington. Jenna Garcia, Hutchinson, Kansas. Jenna Schneider from Lodi, California. Jesse Miranda from Turlock, California. Kaylin Lastly from Salina, Kansas. My name is Alexis Avalos and I'm from Yucaipa, California. Madison O'Brien, Zunai, Virginia. Malia Sandy from Gerard, Kansas. Paige Biddle from Sacramento, California. Reese McCrary from Sacramento, California. My name is Sadie Leatherman and I'm from Coutts, Indiana. Shay Hoover, Potwin, Kansas. And welcome back to the bottom of the fourth we go. Three to two, Larks in front. And Nis coming to bat. Nis laid a bunt single down and scored. Freeze coming out here in the fourth. Nis hammers one foul on the left side and out of play. Big shout out to Lindsay James for bringing me something to drink. Lindsay rocks. The 0 1 from Freeze, and Nis chases and can't catch up. Got a big shout out to Boo. We love you from the 505. I wondered how long it would take before I got a 505 text. So the count 0 and 2 here to Nis. And Nis fights it off. So, the O2. Ness fights it off. And Jesse dances out of the way on deck. Literally dancing out of the way. And they count one ball and two. Or, excuse me, still own two. Ness fights it off, and that's fouled up and over our heads. And another long at bat. It's a second ball into this tree behind us. Poor tree. And our count's still remaining 0 and 2. Long at bat here for Ness. That's too far outside. Ness watches it, and the count one ball and two strikes. Ness fights it off and battles again. And our count still remaining at one and two. A long at bat for Ness. And just like baseball, the more an at bat goes longer, the more the momentum swings to the hitter. And the one two coming up. 
Missed on the ground, and that goes through the glove of Sample. Sample can't come up with a hard-hit ball. And this will be a board after the error. Jesse Miranda is 0-4-2, reached on an error and a strikeout. Now it's an error in my scorework. I am not official. But Jesse aboard, or excuse me, a Lark runner aboard. Jesse lays the bunt down. That could be trouble. Jesse legs it out. And Jesse puts the perfect bunt on, had enough spin. The ball spun away from char a charging sample at third base. And there are two on and none out for Kalen Lastly. Kalen's 0 for 1, or excuse me, 1 for 2. 1 for 1. She walked in the first and singled in the second, also singled a run in. So Kalen will come to bat from the left side this time. So Freeze. And a bit of a jam with two on and none out here in the fourth. And Kalen offers that and pulls back, takes the ball. So one ball now to Kalen. Kalen tries to lay the bunt down, it will drift foul. And the count evens up at one ball, one strike. This and Jesse both have wheels for the Larks. You know, the two leading stolen base robbers there for the Larks. 18 for Jesse, 8 for Niss. That bunt is popped up, and that will get over, get, hit Jesse in the side. Niss will take, take third as Kalen pops the bunt up to the pitcher. Jessie will stay at first. She took that throw right in the side. She'll be checked out. And runners at the corners with one away. Lark's leading three to two. So Lex here with runners at the corners, one out. And Lex is over too with a pair of strikeouts. So Freeze will get her sign from her catcher, Connington. And Jesse will trot down to first, so they try to coerce a steal. Jesse will not get a credit for the stolen base there. It'll be fielder indifference. So Lex takes a strike, but the runner moves up. So Cup, pair of larks out there in the meadow. And Lex fouls it off. And that goes over a car, but hits one on the bounce. And the count now 0-2. So the 0-2 coming up for Lex. Lex looks at one upstairs. And I count one and two. The chance beginning of the dugout. Nissa third, Jesse at second. Lexi swinging through, and that's the third third time Lex has struck out today. Two away here for Sadie. Sadie's 0 for 2. And Sadie looks at one upstairs. One ball. Shay's got the secret code armband over here. But we're not going to repeat those codes. Now 
<laughs> that one comes inside. Dead ball. Dead ball. It hit Sadie inside. Sadie will trot down. It'll keep a run from scoring. However, that does bring up Amy Brittato with the bases juiced. Brings up number 24, Amy Brittato. And uh, as I said, Amy's hit six home runs, 25 runs driven in, 12 walks, but only three strikeouts. They get a fourth today, but she also has a single. And Amy lifts that one foul and out of play. And this is a dangerous situation for Delaney Freeze. The 0 1. And Amy chases the rise ball, and she's quickly behind 0 2. Amy was not cheated on that swing as she was trying to knock that into a different area code. With the Larks leading 3 to 2. Amy lifts it, but it will get a tail foul. And a mad scramble on the hill resulted in the casualty. Someone just after the ball biffed it over there. And the count's still 0-2. And so the base is loaded, two away, and the 0-2. Freeze deals. And strike three called. Amy was looking for something different. She goes down looking for the second time today. We've played four. Lark's lead three to two. Back after this. Rodney Rod, Houston, Texas. Brett Heitschmidt, Lindsborg, Kansas. Caden Bartlett, Amber, Oklahoma. Caleb Stoll, Litchfield Park, Arizona. Cardom Ferguson, Nassau, Bahamas. Connor Leach, Erie, Colorado. Don Woody, Cibola, Texas. Dave Milburn from Lincoln, Nebraska. David Burzens, Houston, Texas. Dave Ryan, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dayton Watkins, Valley Center, Kansas. Grant Bloyer, Winfield, Kansas. Hudson Smith, Wacomas, Oklahoma. Hugo Kinabuchi, San Diego, California. Ian Lecky, Oakland Park, Kansas. Justin Darnell, I'm from Windsor, Colorado. Kaylin Haynes, Trophy Club, Texas. Kendall Theory, Westlake, Louisiana. Malachi Swartz, Overland Park, Kansas. Nari Kijimura, Tokyo, Japan. Nari Solomon, Harrisonburg, Virginia. As we're moving into the top of the fifth, Adriana Pe Pedro coming to bat. And Mackenzie Sample, Josie Bartlett all do up. Pedro singled her fat. Pedro singled in her first at bat, excuse me, and then two pass balls, balls was strained at third, and she swings right through the first pitch she sees from Chelsea. Chelsea struck out the first nine batters she faced, and the last thing were three pop ups. All on the infield corners. That's a fly ball. Niss calling for it and comes in and makes the play, and that is the First out of the game, out to the grass for Fort Scott, one away. Sample struck out her first at bat looking. That was in the second when Chelsea struck out the side, all of them looking, frozen at the dish. That one misses high. Beautiful day for softball. After some of the games we've endured, this is quite lovely. The 1-0, and that misses downstairs, and our count 
Two balls and no strikes. I'm looking at my scorebook here, and Chelsea has only worked a full count twice today. As that one misses away, and Chelsea, a bit of a struggle here to sample. The 3 0. And there's a strike right down the middle. Good hitter's pitch here from coming up. Wonder what the odds are in fast pitch softball. And that's a strike on the inner half in baseball. 92 or 93 percent of the time, if a pitcher throws a strike on a 3 1 count, they're going to throw the same pitch. I wonder if that's the same for fast pitch. Swing and a miss, and Sample chases. And there are two outs now for Josie Bartlett. Bartlett struck out. That's Chelsea's 10th strikeout. Pitch misses inside. The 1 0 coming up. There's a strike. I count one ball, one strike. Top fifth. That ball laid down the bunt will roll foul. And they count one and two. Chelsea leading the nation in strikeouts. And the one, two on the way coming up. Chelsea gets her sign. She likes what she sees. Strike three called in her half. And Barlett goes down. And we've played four, four and a half. Lark's lead three to two. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. Adriana Ruiz from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amy Bertado from Whittier, California. Anissa Aguilar, Hacienda Heights, California. Cassidy King from Cochranville, Pennsylvania. Chelsea Smith, Tacoma, Washington. Jenna Garcia, Hutchison, Kansas. Jenna Schneider from Lodi, California. Jesse Miranda from Turlock, California. Kaylin Lastly from Salina, Kansas. My name is Alexis Avalos and I'm from Yucaipa, California. Madison O'Brien, Zunai, Virginia. Malia Sandy from Gerard, Kansas. Paige Biddle from Sacramento, California. Reese McCrary from Sacramento, California. My name is Sadie Leverman and I'm from Coutts, Indiana. Shay Hoover, Potwin, Kansas. And welcome back here as Paige Biddle stepping in. Bottom fifth, Paige has a pair of singles today and Paige takes a strike. Paige pops it back and out of play. And Paige quickly behind 0-2 as the mad chase between Reese and Grant has stopped. Wow. 
so... Freeze, though, well ahead here of Paige. Paige rips another shot, and that one is a rocket that will bounce over the fence on the hop, and Paige has the ground rule double. Paige tearing the cover off the ball here. That's her third hit of the contest. And that brings up Boo. And it looks like we're going to have a pitching change. Here, Katie Bunch now coming in. So Bunch coming in to warm up. Robbie Rod, Houston, Texas. Brett Heitschmidt, Lindsborg, Kansas. Caden Bartlett, Amber, Oklahoma. Caleb Stoll, Litchfield Park, Arizona. Tottenham Ferguson, Nassau, Bahamas. Connor Leach, Erie, Colorado. Don Woody, Cibolo, Texas. Dave Milburn from Lincoln, Nebraska. David Burzens, Houston, Texas. Dave Ryan, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dayton Watkins, Valley Center, Kansas. Grant Bloyer, Winfield, Kansas. Hudson Smith, Wacomas, Oklahoma. Hugo Kinabuchi, San Diego, California. Ian Lucky, Oval Park, Kansas. Adriana Ruiz. So Boo comes to bat. Paige has reached a second after she hits a line drive ground rule double. Boo's 0 for 1 with a strikeout and was hit by Pitch. And Boo takes a ball upstairs. Boo hammers one, and that will be foul as just gets past a diving Olivia Chenoweth. Chenoweth in it now for sample. And Boo has the count even a one ball, one strike. Gorgeous day for softball. Can't stress that enough. 61 degrees. We've been so cold at times, 61 feels very warm as Boo takes a pitch low and inside at the ankles. And the count two balls, one strike to the sophomore from the 505. That one pops straight up. And a nice play over there by pigskin picker extraordinaire Rudy Hallpark. The count, two balls, two strikes. Boo, pool cues one foul and stays alive. Nice play, Rudy. Chase back with food in front of me, hurtful. Boo whoops one out there. That'll be a base hit into the gap. And Paige will come around to score. Boo will have herself a ribby single. And the Larks increase their lead to 4-2 to two with none out here as Paige scores. And Chelsea Smith will come to bat. It looks like Boo's going to come out as Jenna Garcia coming in to run. So Jenna G comes in to run. No. I'll get one between. Thanks, O'Shea. Boo ripped the ball. Lark's bat swinging well this afternoon. Four to two. None out here in the bottom of the fifth. Chelsea's over for 2 with a pair of strikeouts today. Katie Bunch now, first time she's seen Chelsea. Chelsea offers a bunt down, lays it down. Bunch, her only play will be to first base on the bunt as Chelsea lays the sacrifice down. 
Jenna moves up 60 feet into scoring position for Nissa Aguilar. Nissa reached on an error in her last at bat. Also laid down a perfect bunt single. I'll have to do some double checking. I'm wondering if where Chelsea is in the rankings. I may be mistaken as Nis takes a pitch low. That's on the ground. Throw across. The throws gets Nis over, pulls the bag, or pulls the first baseman off the bag. Nis takes second. And Jenna comes around to score. And an unearned run goes into the book, and the Lark's now up 5-2. to two. Miss taking second. And a quick conference out there. And this will bring up Jesse Miranda. Oh, excuse me, I'm mistaken as Jesse takes a pitch outside. Chelsea will have moved up into third on the strikeout ranking as she sits about 100 behind. Hardy from Phoenix College, who leads the country with with 225. Excuse me, I looked at the wrong stat there. Jesse calls a calls time. So Chelsea's about third place nationally strikeouts. As two runs have come across here in our fifth. That one misses outside. And our count, two and one. That one too far outside, and Jesse has the count moving three balls, one strike. Jesse's over two. So Chelsea is third in the country in strikeouts now. And Jesse draws the walk. And there are two on with one away for Kaylin Lassley. Kay's one for two with a single on RBI. For 14, Lassley. And a pop out has an RBI for the, on the day. Lark's leading five to two as we're on the bottom of the fifth. Nis taking off and swipes it. The run coming home. Nis will score. Jesse taking third. Gotta go, Nis. And the Larks add another run to the tally. They're up six to two. So Kalen. Time being called. So I can't step in, some discussion. So Kalen takes one on the other side and the count one ball, one strike. Three runs have crossed this inning. And the Larks have opened up a 6-2 to two lead. Kalen fouls it back to the fence. 
I think I want to do. Still one away. Jesse's over on third base. Kalen trying to find some green and drive in another run. Bunch offers a change, and that misses outside. I count two balls and two strikes. I would have been fooled by this changeup, but that's not saying much. I like the changeup. I like, I like that changeup after throwing some heat. And the 2-2. Two -two. Kalen calls time. The 2-2. Two -two. Kalen lifts it, but it will tail foul over the well. And the count still remaining two balls and two strikes. There's a hill here with an old well for the city of Heston. This field, this park has been here for a long, long time. They actually used to play high school football on this field. Kalen loops. Leaves it high, and the count now three balls and two strikes. One out here in the fifth. Kalen lifts it. That's a shot. That is off the fence. Kalen will have herself an RBI double. And Kalen slips in, pops up, and she'll take third. And now she'll go back. And almost had umpire interference out there. Can with the double. And drives in Jesse. And Lexi now trying to. Get herself started. She's 0 4 3. And that pitch misses outside. Lex pumps one foul and out of play. And our count one ball and one strike. Big conference matchup here for both schools. Lark City 500 in the conference, 5-5. Five and five. Fort Scott started a little bit slow, but they've been going in the right direction ever since. Lexi looks at one outside. And our count, two balls and one strike to Lex. Seven to two, the score. That one misses high across the top of the jersey. And they count three, three balls, one strike here for Lex. Lex looks upstairs and draws the walk. And one away, and two runners aboard here. For the Larks with for Sadie Leatherman. Sadie was hit by a pitch in her last at bat. She's 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout. 15, Sadie Leatherman. And two runners aboard. Bottom of five. Sadie pops it up. And that will drop foul. I'll say, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Ball is fouled off into the fence. You can tell people who've played ball, they make a move to try and field it. People who have not go scrambling out of the way. Sadie pops it up. Left side going back. That could be trouble, but a nice over-the-head catch. What a play by Bulkin over there. Bulkin, the over-the-head snag. And there are two away. That's a great play. Making a play going back. That's a tough play to make. Number 24, Amy 
great awareness. And Amy Bertado coming up here. Amy is 1-4-3. Pair of strikeouts in a two-run single. And Amy looks to strike on the inner half. And the Amy do something crazy chant breaking out. That one in the dirt. And a good stop by Coddington. Our count one ball, one strike here to Amy. That one stays low to Amy. And they count two balls and one strike. Larks have played at four runs in the inning. That one stays upstairs. And our count moves to three balls and one strike. And if I'm Amy Bertado, I'm tying my shoes a little tighter because I might come out of them on this swing. That one misses downstairs. Amy draws the walk. And the Larks have officially messed up my scorebook. Paige will come to bat. And Cassie will come to run for Amy with Paige, who started this inning off with a double. So Cass comes in to run. 7-2, to Larks in front. So Paige comes to bat. She started the inning off with a double and then scored. Paige has herself a great game. Two singles and a double. And that one popped up and into the stands. The 0-1. That one stays downstairs. And the count. One ball, one strike here to Paige. Paige, fly ball. That could be. That's at the fence and a nice play made in front of the fence by Bartlett. Paige flies out to right field. Larks tack up four. Larks lead seven to two after five innings. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. Adriana Ruiz from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amy Bertado from Whittier, California. Anissa Aguilar, Hacienda Heights, California. Cassidy King from Cochranville, Pennsylvania. Chelsea Smith, Tacoma, Washington. Jenna Garcia, Hutchison, Kansas. Jenna Schneider from Lodi, California. Jesse Miranda from Turlock, California. Kaylin Lastly from Salina, Kansas. My name is Alexis Avalos, and I'm from Yucaipa, California. Madison O'Brien, Zunai, Virginia. Malia Sandy from Gerard, Kansas. Paige Biddle from Sacramento, California. Reese McCrary from Sacramento, California. My name is Sadie Leverman, and I'm from Coutts, Indiana. Jay Hoover, Portland, Kansas. And welcome back here to the top of the six. Sierra Sanderson to lead this off. She's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Chelsea with 11 strikeouts now. She's moved into a tie for third on the NJC stat sheet. That one misses outside and low, one ball. Hey, 
Henry leads the nation from Phoenix College with 225 strikeouts. So, I'd like to know what she's throwing down there. That's a little flare. That'll be a base knock. Gets between two fielders. Sanderson, little line drive single. And the Greyhounds with a run aboard. That is the first time this afternoon the Greyhounds have, their, have had their leadoff runner on. Meyer coming to bat here. As we're into the sixth. And Meyer rips one foul. And our count on one. Kind of seen the Fort Scott approach change recently. They're trying to jump on the first pitch to Chelsea. There's a flare out there. That's back-to-back -back singles. That could be trouble. That's into the gap. That's going to be two. Maybe a run's coming in, and it will. And a double for Meyer. Meyer drives in a run, and the Greyhound bats have awoken a little bit here. And Lane Bolkin coming to bat. And with Falling Bolkin is Cox. And that's going to be a quick chat out there on the mound. Nice piece of hitting back to back by the Greyhounds. As those lefties finding the green on those line drives and showing off their wheels. Sanderson went all the way around. So, as we're in the. Top of the sixth with a, a runner at second for the Hounds. And everything sorted through. Barks with a four run lead, seven to four. And that one fouled back and out of play across the street. Vulcan behind, one strike. Cox is on deck. She did hit a three run, a two run home run earlier. And Vulcan lays off the pitch that's high, and we're even one ball, one strike. Count is even at a ball and a strike. And that one drifting high, crossing high, and the count two and one. That's a fly ball, and that is out of here. A home run for Lane Bolkin. And this game has just gotten a lot tighter. A two-run shot. And it is 7-5 to five as Bolkin goes deep. Abby Cox coming to bat. So, someone came onto, almost came onto the field in fair territory during the home run and almost got called out for Fort Scott. Abby Cox steps in, and Cox lifts it. Boo calling for it and makes a play. 7-5 to five our score, the first out of the inning. And that will bring up Jordan Coddington. There's a strike to Coddington. 
We're in the top of the six. Larks now have had the Greyhounds with a three-run rally of their own, only an out here in the sixth. Swing and a miss as Coddington not cheated. You cannot take a half inning off in Jayhawk Conference softball in any way, shape, or form. As the strikeout recorded, Coddington did offer. And Chelsea now with her 12th strikeout of the contest. Two away. Delaney Freeze coming into bat. Freeze is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop out. And that one misses upstairs. One out for Freeze. And Freeze lifts that foul into the fence. And our count now, one ball, two strikes. The 1-1 one, one coming up. Gets away from Chelsea, goes, rises high, and our count two balls and one strike. Seven to five, our score. There's a little flare, and that will define Green, a base knock now for Freeze. Freeze dumps one out there into left center field and has herself a single. Adriana Pedro coming to bat. Peter singled in the first and flew out in the fifth. A runner aboard. And Chelsea misses a little bit low. Sun coming out again. Gorgeous. Going to set up for it to be a gorgeous evening for softball. That one misses away. And I count 2 0 to Pedro. That one's lifted, going back, and that one will drop foul. And our count two and one.
Robbie Rudd, Houston, Texas. Brett Heitschmidt, Lindsborg, Kansas. Caden Bartlett, Amber, Oklahoma. Caleb Stoll, Litchfield Park, Arizona. Tottenham Ferguson, Nassau, Bahamas. Connor Leach, Erie, Colorado. Don Woody, Cibola, Texas. Dave Milburn from Lincoln, Nebraska. David Burzens, Houston, Texas. Dave Ryan, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dayton Watkins, Valley Center, Kansas. Grant Bloyer, Winfield, Kansas. Hudson Smith, Wacomas, Oklahoma. Hugo Kinabuchi, San Diego, California. Ian Lecky, of Oven Park, Kansas. Justin Darnell, I'm from Windsor, Colorado. Kaylin Haynes, Trophy Club, Texas. Kendall Theory, Westlake, Louisiana. Malachi Swartz, Overland Park, Kansas. Boo, finally the first pitch off we had. Sorry about that, folks. So we're in the bottom of the sixth. As we, we're back here. And Boo on the ground! Yeah! Boo with a base hit. Yeah! And Boo thinking she's taking two as that goes through the left fielder Sanderson. And Boo will stroll in to second. I better go! She'll get the base knock. And it take second on the error. And that'll bring up Chelsea Smith. Looks like the sloth coming to run, Reese McCrary. And we've said this before, we'll say it again. Reese nicknamed the sloth because she can sleep anywhere at any time. And Chelsea Smith coming up, she's 0 for 2. And batting number 29, Chelsea Smith. So Lark's in front, 7 to 5 here in the 6th. And the bunt laid down, or the bunt laid down. Brees will take third on the pass ball. Should Chelsea attempted to lay the bunt down. Skips through the catcher, Coddington. And Chelsea looking for some green as the leadoff runner for the Larks has moved all the way to third. Chelsea takes a pitch low. And they count two balls and no strikes. Niss is on deck. Niss is 1-4-3. Has reached all three times. A pair of errors she's reached on and a single. As Chelsea swinging through the pitch from Bunch. That's on the ground, and that goes over the glove of the shortstop, Bulkin. Reese trots in, and Chelsea aboard. And the Larks tack up another run. Brings up number 10, Anissa Aguilar. Larks have run 8-5 to five now after the error. And they'll bring up Niss. Niss. One for three. None out here in the sixth. Larks get one of the three back they allowed. This lays a bunt down, and that will drift foul. Chelsea. Over there at first. Gets a ribby. Bunt laid down. That will drop in front of the pitcher. Bunch, bunch, throw over. Not in time. They get through. Niss over there gets through the second baseman, and the runners move up. I got Niss. Niss showing off her speed, forcing yet another error. And so Larks move runners up. 
And they're checking on Niss. She was hit by the throw. Niss one for four now. Top of the order here for the Larks. Jesse coming to bat. And Jesse. One, four, three. Time called for the lefty. None away here in the sixth. Larks have played one with runners at second and third. So a pair of Larks on the meadow. Rather than ducks on the pond, they're Larks on the meadow. Jesse takes the ball outside. And Jesse takes a strike. And our count, one ball, one strike. Jesse on the ground of the second baseman. Pedro tosses over. In time, a run does come home. Jesse will have herself an RBI. A run tax on the board. And it's nine to five, Larks in front for Kaylin Lastly. Number 14, Kaylin Lastly. And uh, Kaylin getting her sign. Nine to five, our score. Larks in front. And Kaylin takes one downstairs, one ball. Kalen lays the bunt down. Bunch's only play will be to first and today toss it away. Kalen taking second. And the run comes back, and the Larks have gotten those three back that they allowed. It's back to 10 to 5. Ten to five, Larks in front here as Lex Amlos coming up. Extra walking her last at bat. None or one away here in the sixth. Three runs across. So Lex, Sadie, and Amy all do up here coming up. And. The conference over. As Lex getting the sign that she wants now. And that will do it. The Greyhounds trying to regroup a little bit. Lark's up 10 to 5. Number 5, Lexi Avalos. So Lark's responding here in their half of the sixth. Lex a little tapper, sample at third, throw across, not in time. Lexi beats it out, and an infield single for Lex. And the runners now at the corners for the Larks. For Sadie Leatherman. Sadie's 0 for 3, was hit by a pitch. Sadie Leatherman. And Sadie coming to bat. Runner goes, and Lexi getting in a foot race. Lexi tagged out, but the run comes home. So an out recorded. The base is clear. Larks score the run, and they're up 11 to 5. And the pitch pops straight up. Sample calling for it. 
and makes the play. Larks get four in that inning. They lead 11-5 back after this here on the Lark Network. Adriana Ruiz from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amy Bertotto from Whittier, California. Anissa Aguilar, Hostian Heights, California. Cassidy King from Cochranville, Pennsylvania. Chelsea Smith, Tacoma, Washington. Jenna Garcia, Hutchison, Kansas. Jenna Schneider from Lodi, California. Jesse Miranda from Turlock, California. Kaylin Lastly from Salina, Kansas. My name is Alexis Avalos and I'm from Yucaipa, California. Madison O'Brien, Zunai, Virginia. Malia Sandy from Gerard, Kansas. Paige Biddle from Sacramento, California. Reese McCrary from Sacramento, California. My name is Sadie Leatherman and I'm from Coutts, Indiana. Shea Hoover, Potwin, Kansas. And welcome back to the City Ball Dime. We're near the top of the seventh. Larks leading 11-5. And what has been a long softball game, but a lot of action both ways. A lot of fun here, this Jayhawk Conference matchup. And this is Olivia Chenoweth coming to bat. Chenoweth and Bartlett coming to bat. And Chenoweth takes a strike. First pitch she sees. The 0 1 delivery from Chelsea. And Chenoweth swings. And the count moves 0 2. The donuts are being made. I smell donuts. Just across just up this across the street, Daylight Donuts and D'Angelo's Pizza, best pizza in Henson. They're just across the street. Across Knott Street to our north. To behind us from the camera view. That one popped up into the fence, and our count's still riding 0 2. Chelsea gets her sign, and she deals. Strike three, call. Chenoweth goes down looking. 14 strikeouts now for Chelsea, and there's one out. Number 13, Kayla Mayer. Mayer coming to bat. And that pitch missing down low. That one drifting inside our count. Two balls, no strikes to you, Mayor. They're chasing upstairs and they count two balls and one strike. They are fouls it off and our count moves two balls and two strikes. So an out on the board, and a 2-2 delivery from Chelsea Smith. That's tapped back to the fence. And our count remaining 
at two and two. That one fouled off out of play. And that will roll over towards the Fort Scott bus parked across Knott Street. And our count's still riding two balls and two strikes. Long ball game here, but a lot of fun. This one's been a wild ride. Swing and a miss, and Mayer goes down. 15 strikeouts for... Chelsea, and this is Sierra Sanderson. Sanderson singled her last at bat, struck out twice, so she's one for three. And Sanderson takes a strike. The 0 1. That drifting out drifts outside that pitch and the count one ball, one strike. Little flare and Coach Sharp with a hot play over there. That's in front of the dugout. And they get one and two to Sanderson. Sanderson fights it off and fouls it over towards the concession stand. And Sanderson with a battle. Sanderson on the ground. Chelsea knocks it down. Throw over, and that is it. Larks come away with a victory, 11-5. Final score of game one, Larks 11, Greyhounds 5. And we will be back with the start of our second game here on the Lark Network. <laughs> 